Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of my paper making series. If you've missed any of the previous videos, especially the step-by-step -step how to videos, don't worry because I have a link below in the description box to that playlist and I will also have a link to it at the end of this video on the screen so you can't miss it. So today we're going to be talking about things to add to your papers and ways to add them. And so here are some examples. This is shredded paper that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And here is some confetti pieces of paper. Um, I actually haven't opened this yet. It kind of looks like it might be tissue paper, but confetti looking. Now this I love, and I don't know if you can see it good on camera, but it actually looks like shredded dollar bills. And I'm pretty sure it's not, but that's what it looks like. It doesn't say on here, and those were you know sent to me by someone. And this is beautiful, just beautiful little sparkles that you can add to it. And keep in mind, these are only a few examples. Um, here are these skeleton leaves. Those would look just beautiful on the front of a card, you know, embedded in the paper. And there are these. Now, again, this is something that just came with something else that I got. I don't know if it's real, if it's paper, if it's dried flowers, but I really don't think it's dried flowers. But things like this would look really pretty on your papers. So some of these things, you know, you would put on whole like this, and other ones you might want to put into the blender with your papers. Um, here's some other things, this Kona shredded pulp, which is um, actually coffee bags you know, shredded up, really, really fun. And this right here is um, shredded cotton, linen pulp. And so, I mean, that's something else that you can add, but um, let's see what else we got here. Okay, this is one of my favorites and I don't have any flowers. So I have dandelions in my yard and weeds. <laughs> but here are some examples where you can just take them apart. You. You leave the hard part behind. You don't want the stem or the hard part that that's attached to. But you just go in and you just pull out all the pretty stuff. So in this case, it's all a bunch of yellow stuff and, and white stuff. And you just pull it out. And, well, you can get a lot out. I'm not going to sit here all day. But you leave the hard part behind. Or on this one, I'm going to be taking those dried leaves off and using those. So these are just a few examples of some of the things that you can use to add to your papers. And now let's talk about how to add them to the papers. Okay, I've already got my decal put together and I'm gonna put it right here into the water. And I also already have blended my paper. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna add a little, let me move this over just a tiny bit here. Not that you really need to see the blender, but there we go. <laughs> so I've already got my paper ready and I'm gonna add some of this shredded pink paper to it. And I'm not gonna, I didn't add it at the beginning because I didn't want it to totally destroy this because obviously it'll just turn it into pulp like you know it did the rest of the paper. But I am gonna put some in here. And actually I probably grabbed too much. I'll just put a little bit in there. Set this back over here. And I'm just going to blend it just for a second, just to kind of mix that around a little bit. So there we go. And now we're just going to pour it into our decal. Oh, look at that. A lot of it stuck on the bottom, so it didn't all get in there. But that's okay. Here, maybe I'll just add a few pieces this way. Look at that, see, because this is another way that you can add it that I was going to show you. So look at, you get two things in one because you can also add some while it's sitting here in the water already. I'll just pull some of those apart here and I'll plop that right back in there. Okay, and now I'm gonna just kind of swish this around a little bit to make sure that everything is mixed really well. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. I probably added too much of that, but it's okay. <laughs> Can you see it? Okay, so 
that's one way of adding it. And then, of course, you go through the same process as I've shown in the step-by-step -step videos that you're going to watch. So let's move on to another way of doing this. Okay, again, I have my decal all ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and stick it right here in the water. And I have my little dandelions that were all dried, all ready to go. And I also have my um, paper already blended here, my pulp already blended and ready to go. I'll give it a really quick, there, just because it had been sitting for a minute. Okay, so on this one, I am gonna go ahead and just pour this in like so. And I'm going to swish it around in here a little bit just to make sure everything doesn't settle all in one spot. And now I'm going to take these and my fingers are wet. I'll just wipe them on my pants. <laughs> okay, well, here, we'll do this hand. And I'm just going to sprinkle these around in here just randomly. Yep. Probably have more than I needed. It tends to happen, getting more than I need. I mean, it's hard to judge for me. <laughs> okay, there we go. See them laying in there all nice and pretty? All right, and I'm just going to lift this straight out. And let the water drain. Okay, and you can see that it is not all the way down in the paper, but you're going to see after I dry the paper that it is because as you know, we go through the process where we put the screen over the top and we're, you know, squishing out all of the water with a sponge. And so once that process is done, this will be down in the paper and you will get to see that. Okay, so there is the other method. So we've done it where we've Put it in the blender at the last minute and put it in like we did with the paper this time we put you know the flowers in and the next one we're going to do is a little bit different okay i'm going to change things up here a little bit instead of using my decal and all of the professional stuff I'm going to use my Dollar Tree setup here. So if you haven't seen that video yet already, paper making on a budget, you need to see that. So this is what I'm going to be using. And I have already blended um, my paper pulp. And this time you see it looks a little bit different. I used a yellow flyer that I'd gotten in the mail, just some junk. And so the yellow plus the, the black <laughs> writing all over it created an interesting color. But we're going to use that, and I'm going to use a couple of pieces out of here. So let me set this down inside here. Make sure that it's not too deep, because I may have too much water in here. Okay, I think it's going to be okay. I think it'll be okay. All right, let me grab out a couple of pieces here to use. Let's use... Some of this pink stuff here. Let me grab out a few pieces of that. That might look good up against the color that we have going here. Okay, so I've got three pieces out of that pack and sticking to my wet fingers because if I was really smart, I would bring a towel over here with me. All right, let me give this a quick little spin here. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and pour that right in here. Here we go. I actually should have been holding this together. All right. So, this is really tricky, not because of the setup I'm using, but because you want to lay these in while the water is coming out, but before it's out. So I'm just gonna 
try to push these down in there a little bit. And you know what? Let me move this out of the way because it wasn't in your way. Anyways, I'm just going to kind of put them in there, okay, because you want them in there as the water is coming out. And if you have to, you can push them down in a little bit. Okay. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and lift it out just the way it is. You can see that in there. And now it's time to take this apart <laughs> and dry it up. I'm just letting as much of the water drip out, as, out of it as I can. And once this is done, you will get to see the finished, finished piece of paper. Okay, here are the three papers that we made today. This is the last one we did. And actually, I like the color. I was worried about it because it was yellow with all that black, but it actually came out kind of green. So it's kind of nice. And I like the little speckles in it, but there we go. That's the one way of adding things. Here is another way and my favorite. And there was this, which looks like a party in a paper. <laughs> just looks like confetti flying around. So there you go. And those are just a few ways of adding things to your papers. And those are just a few things that you can add to your papers because you can also add thread and yarn and other dried flowers and pretty much anything you want. I just suggest, you know, experimenting and some things work better with thicker papers and some are okay with thinner papers. So like I said, just experiment. It'll be fun. You never know what you're gonna come up with. And remember, if you haven't seen the step-by-step -step tutorials yet, that there'll be a link below in the description box. And there will also be a link popping up right here on the screen momentarily, so you can't miss it. Happy paper crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.